Now, I'm pretty sure you and your person definitely are trying to resolve the situation. Saturn is already retrograde in your sign. <sighs> this is your first week for July. Contemplating. Okay. Wow. So you guys haven't been in touch. No contact, no communication. Okay. So it's giving right now for the Aquarian. This is a time where we try to contemplate on the things that we do. Okay. Um, Saturn retrograde starting at 29. It's the next five months. Um, I've mentioned to other sign. Oh, I don't have my ring. Okay. Um, I've mentioned to the other sign that, you know, it's very popular Mercury retrograde. Everybody makes fun of Mercury, you know, during that time, you know, with nothing to make fun because your computer, your travel, your communication, you know, all these things can become a little bit challenging, right? Now, when Saturn retrograde is five months, it's your Lagna Lord. You should be more, not worried, more cautious during this time. Five months. Mercury is 30 days. 30 days, we already feel like we're dying. When is Mercury going to go direct? So imagine Saturn, ruler of time, not commerce, not business, not communication, rules over time. So every second that we do matters. Everything. The moment you wake up, you breathe, you do something, Saturn rules that. It's time. Kala. So in the retrograde, it's far from the sun, closer to us. So it's very intense, right? So you are already, um, you know, you have a Sasa Yoga, which is Saturn in the first house. And you're already feeling the pressure. So now is a time where, you know, it's not like, oh, the pressure is gone. The pressure can double. And during this time, because you have here the Four of Swords, okay, it's best that you meditate and you contemplate. Good remedy. Meditation, yoga, um, pranayama, breathing exercises, um, listening to healing music, binaural beats, different frequencies, um, you know, singing bowl, that's a Four of Swords. Now, only if you want to clear your energy. Um, Four of Swords is clearing of energy. If you are a moon in Aquarius, you are in your Sadisati, and it is now going to be even more intense with the moon in Aquarius. I'm not here to tell you, like, oh my God, the world is over. It's not like that. Far from it. Did you know that depending on the day that you were born, there are different crystals that is good for you? I'm a crystal expert, and this citrine is probably good for you. You're born in the month of June, and you don't have rose quartz? You're missing out big time. You're born in January, and your manifestation is not working? You probably need an amethyst. The best part about this is you don't have to worry about a thing. Because I'm Sal, I'm a crystal expert, and I will make your custom crystal bracelet based on your birthday for free. Visit my website, eatreadlove.me. It's good day, bad day. But how you keep up with a good day, bad day is a different story. So constant cleansing is a, you know, like you always shower, right? So you don't feel like, you know, you feel fresh. So it's the same thing um, with regards to energy. How often do you cleanse your energy? Shower is good for cleaning the body, but we do have chakra. We have our aura, right? And then, of course, our, the, you know, the, um, how our body from within, you know, there's Ayurveda. So there is an unstable energy that I feel like you're doing some work. Good, because of our swords. Then you have a five of cups over here. Okay, oh, I forgot also. At the end of this video, I will teach you how to manifest this reading. And at the same time, I will make an extended for you guys, because I know you guys have been wanting the extended. And what else? Yeah, I think that's it. Uh -huh. yeah. So the link is going to be down there. So five of cups right here, five of pentacles, and then knight of cups. Okay, so... You're begging your person, not actively, but maybe thinking. It's just like, oh, I wish that they would just talk and speak their mind instead of putting you into a no contact. Five of Pentacles. It's not that they put you. I feel like you also put them. It takes two to tangle. You don't want to talk. They don't want to talk, right? Now, the Knight of Cups is how immature your person is. So your person, it says they'd rather, um, you know, brush this under the rug and then don't deal with the problem that you guys have. And then, you know, Knight of Cups is like, their free spirit with regards to like dealing with problems and issues. Mm. So um, the five of pentacles is could be financial problems with the five of pentacles. So two of you have been struggling with the five of pentacles. But with the five of cups, you're struggling emotionally. You're feeling as is like, yeah, I don't understand when we're going through something, my person does not even want to, um, how do you call this, resolve it or express themselves. Okay, I see them. Mm. Now, you do have Venus in your fifth house, which is there's a lot of desire for this romance to come to fruition, okay? But you play this card also of the Emperor. It's fine. It's good. You know, Queen of Cups is right here. Seven of Swords with Eight of Swords. Okay. 
So it's like this. The Emperor with the Queen of Cups is more about you taking charge of your emotions. Okay, good. So you got that to a T. You handled it. When you got that handled, it's like, I'm not going to be like, oh, you know, it's like they tell me that I'm, you know, when I go emotional, I go emotional. So now you're saying, it's like, okay, I'm in control of my emotion. Yes, because we have to, con we need to be in control of our emotion and not the other way around. We need to be control of what we think and not the way and not the other way around. So this is self-mastery. Uh -huh. So there's a lot of things. When you're self-mastery, it would be helpful if you talk to yourself because that's how you master oneself is you would have an internal dialogue. Not that you're going crazy, but an internal dialogue to understand oneself. Do you understand me? So probably you're doing that because Emperor and the Queen of Cups, is it's showing that your intention is just like, I need to be in control of my emotion. Good. So that way you can tackle this situation with a level head. Got it? Huh. Seven of Swords, Five Pentacles, it would be tough because your person is a habitual liar. Good. So, <laughs> so now you're telling me that... I have dealt with this person. I tried to manage my emotions and my feelings so I can have a level head, but then this person keeps lying. What do I do? Queen of Wands with the Eight of Swords. I feel like your person is good at like keeping things around in circles, circles and circles, the stories after stories after stories. I can't this, you know that. I can't this, da, 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 da. So your person, okay, always tells you of the can't. And this is the reason why not. This is this, that, you know. And then you, of course, get triggered by this, right? And that's why you shut down with the Four of Swords. But your person is like this. They play this game of Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands. I can't. But if it's for their own benefit, oh, they will. One of the custom personalized intention bracelet that I did was for this lovely, lovely soul who was asking for a protection bracelet for their lovely relationship. And it was actually the strawberry full moon. So I made it sure that it's looking like strawberry. And I put the intention of manifesting love, peace, and harmony in their connection. Find out more how to get your custom free intention bracelet. Okay. So that's a big challenge for you. Big time. Big challenge. Very big challenge. Okay. To deal with such person. Okay. Let's see. Well, this is how you deal with it. I don't want to deal with it, Sal. So. Seven of Wands. All right. So you establish the grounds. You tell them, like, okay, talk to me when you're ready to be honest. Good. Seven of Wands. You establish that, you know, this is my threshold. I won't be, um, you know, like begging and asking five cups, seven of Wands until you come to me with the I can, not I can't. Okay. Now, if you go to my website right now, you will see there the um, mystic custom bracelet and I make those specific for intention when you check out I just need you to put your intention the situation and your date of birth I find it very very effective when the remedy the gemstone is chosen specifically for your situation if this is your situation you can check it out okay it's down there I also made your zodiac piaus by the way I forgot the, the Aquarians you have your feng shui charms and for luck and abundance both real gold and then of course the feng shui charm the PO is real gold. You can check it out. Okay, these are specific gemstones for your sign. Bam! I feel like I like it when you're driven. You got a ten, ten of cups. Seven of ones with a ten of cups. It's like, don't come to me until, or, you know, come to me straight or don't come to me at all. Something like that, right? That's an expression. So you're laying down the groundwork with your person. You're telling them now that if we're going to be together, we, we got to be together. You understand me? Because it's ten of cups. So that's how you're you're setting the tone. But have they? Will they? Are they? You know, all those, basically, right now, that answer is being avoided. There's a fox. The fox is not a bad person or, you know, bad animal at all. It's, uh, you know, but it is coined as a very sly individual. Okay, no, well, the fox, very sly, very sneaky, they say. But it's actually very protective of their, uh, you know, their kin. I mean, they do anything for their, uh, you know, like a family, their pack. Okay, so will they, are they going to be, right? It could be a Pisces, Leo, Aries, Cancer right here. Okay, or a Libra. Mm. Okay, we are seeing, we are getting there, right? Oh, okay, so ooh. that's good. To find out more, link in the comments in the description box below. I'll see you next time.